ran across this article today, and it's not normally what I talk about on this channel. You know, we're really, you know, this 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 does have a, a narrative as to you know saving America because we're being sort of run by tyrannical globalists looking for I call it a uh, a a medicine man effect. This is something a tactic that has been used for decades of of trions of empires to where they gaslight the public and make really huge claims about the environment around them and what they have to do to participate so that they can be sustainable. And some of these measures are not sustainable to life as a population and, or whatever is allowed to be. It, you know, you, you would sacrifice people so that it would rain. They'd say, if you don't sacrifice this many people, you're not going to get any rain. Or if you believe in this such and such thing here, then the gods will get mad at you and you will have famine. And come to find out, it's usually a, 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 a a manufactured crisis. Now, I'm going to read this article and then I'm going to talk to you a little bit about some of the coincidences and what I see and how this plays out. And it's very, very important that you, you see, that you hear this. Okay, let's read the article. Rather strange and ironic article it says here we've pumped so much groundwater that we've nudged the Earth's spin. Says the new study by pumping groundwater out of the ground and moving it somewhere else, humans have shifted such a large mass of water that the Earth tilted nearly 80 centimeters, 31.5 inches east between 93 and 2010 alone. According to a new study published in Geophysical Research Letters, based on climate model, scientists previously estimated humans pumped 21. Uh, 2,150 gigatons of water equivalent to more than six millimeters or, a point, or or maybe a quarter of an inch of sea level rise from the 20 from from this area here so uh, one approach lies with the earth's rotational pole which is the point around which the planets rotate and, and it moves during a process called polar motion let me scroll down a little bit more it says Earth rotational pole actually changes a lot, says Ki Wion Seal, a geophysicist at Seoul National University who led the study. Our study shows that among climate related causes, climate related causes, listen to this, the redistribution of groundwater actually has the largest impact on the drift of rotational pole. The water abilities to change the Earth rotations were discovered in 2016, and until now, the specific contribution of groundwater to see the rotational changes has. Uh, was unexplored, and the new study researchers model modeled the observation changes in the drift of Earth's rotational pole, the movement of water first. Um, so, with only ice sheets and glaciers considered, and then adding a different scenarios of groundwater re redistribution, the model was only matched with the observed polar drift. Now, it says here, this is a nice contribution and an important documentation for sure. And the uh, Surendra Idurkuri, a research scientist at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory who was not involved in the study, says that uh, the quantified the role of the groundwater pumping in a polar motion is pretty significant. The location of groundwater matters how much it could change the polar drift. Redis redistribute redistributing the water from uh, uh, mad latitudes has a larger impact on rotational poles. And the redistribution in the western, north, and northwestern India, both um, uh, 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 mid latitudes as well. And it says here, and a country's attempt to slow groundwater depletion rates, especially in those sensitive regions, and it could theoretically alter the change in drift, but only if such conservation approaches are sustained for decades, CO said. And so uh, the rotational pole normally changes by several meters within a year. So changes due to the groundwater pumping don't run the risk of shifting seasons, but in a geological time scales, polar drift can have an impact on climate. Climate. Now, let me get back to me. Okay, so now that we have that on the table, you've got to remember there is a huge hedron collider called CERN located in that same area on the hemisphere. And it is creates a huge magnetic field that can actually disrupt our solar winds. This happened back in 2018, if I'm not mistaken on the date. Please clarify that in the comment sections if you say otherwise. I, I, I'm just trying to go on memory and what I've seen. Now, uh, so just recently I read an article and I can't find it now, but I'm trying to be quick. I got a lot of stuff going on the shop, so I'm trying to make this fast. But there was a, a new discovery with CERN that just came out and it has not, and it's not the it's not the God particle, it's a whole other thing now because they've been beefing this thing up. And they're supposed to do some more work to it in 2025. But it uses enough electricity that they have to have a dedicated power station. It uses the same amount of electricity as a medium sized, they say small city, but a medium sized city running at all 200 amps. But, um, yeah, hold on one second. So, with that much electricity being used, 
to create to move these particles around it creates a, an intense magnetic field of under of unimaginable force and they're going to say that water being pumped out of the ground which goes back into the ground through the cycle of our water cycle if you were in middle school they they, they before they would messed up the schools and totally screwed up the curriculum and actually learning something they would teach kids the cycle of water and you know through evaporation and other things and normal circumstances your water would go up into the sky come back down run into the ground and it goes right back it just it always does it finds its place now if you want to talk about moving something that can't go back how about all the holes you're going to dig for that they're already doing now to make lithium ion batteries and all this strip mining they do and all the dirt that gets pulled away that never gets put back you don't think that has some sort of effect you don't think that mining all the metal out of the earth to make these batteries and copper wire that needs to run all these super intricate vehicles to try to tell us what to do has anything to do with the earth's magnetic polarization you don't think that that has anything to do with it anybody and they're going to blame it on water so that they can do one thing and one thing only that's to say we've got to conserve resources that means you only get this much water a day and, and that may dictate whether or not you, you'd be able to take a shower flush your toilet even maybe take a drink of water for your own life they could hold that back and say you don't deserve water because your social credit score because you're running an old ford truck and that's bad for the environment while i fly around on my jet from one place to another and so when i see articles like this and you've got a bunch of people who read these articles they go yes we need to make sacrifices for the earth that they don't understand it's their side doing it to them they're 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 they're, they're buying their own fate so if they would turn off the CERN machine, if they'd uh, maybe not mine so much copper out of the ground and make vehicles so complicated with 7 million miles of wire that you don't need in a vehicle just to drive back and forth to work, conserve a little bit on those aspects, and then you have a sustainable life. Thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. This is a good friend of mine. Cool Stay dude. Stay strong, Stay baby. strong. How, tell me how old you are. I'll be 52 in a couple 52 months. 52 years old. Look at that right there. That's red meat diet and not buying into the lefty crap. Four years of meat and water and that's it. No sugar, clean mind, clean body. Stay strong, stay frosty. I'm out.